That guy definitely deserves better than that. Hello YouTube! Aside from making bad jokes today, we're going to be making some bread. This one's really, really easy, very minimal ingredients, uh, a little technical, so we'll go by step by step by step. By the end of this video, you should be a pro. So let's get right into it. We're going to jump into our ingredients right away. Just take some notes, if you will. Like always, the recipe is down in the description, so all you have to do is follow along. Let's get started. you're gonna need a few things. Some bowls, big bowls, cause you're gonna to need to proof your dough. Uh, something to cook your bread in. You can use bread tins, you can use those aluminum foil ones from the dollar store, that works too. Or you can use a pizza tray or a baking tray and roll out little balls, make some buns. Uh, something to stir with, and a measuring cup. I choose plastic, cause I break shit all the time. Anyway, let's do this. So first thing, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. There is nothing more annoying than getting all your stuff done, going to put it in the oven, you realize it's not on yet. So do it now, easy. It'll be done when you're ready. All right, so here we go. This is where it gets kind of technical. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna proof our yeast or bloom the yeast. Basically, it just means dissolving the yeast in warm water and rehydrating it. Kind of reminds me of those sea monkeys. I probably just dated myself, but Google it. They were crazy. It was a thing. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dissolve your sugar in the hot water. You want your water to be between 45 degrees Celsius and 55 degrees Celsius. Anything more than 55, you potentially could kill your yeast. Anything below that, you'll just have your yeast sitting in cold water. Uh, once your sugar is dissolved, add your yeast, give it a mix, and eventually, about 10 to 15 minutes, it'll start to resemble a creamy foam, like that on top of a beer. But you can use this video for a reference so you can make sure you're on the right page. Does your yeast mixture look like this? If so, let's keep going. If not, give it a bit of longer, see what happens. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our oil and our salt into that sugar yeast mixture. We're gonna give it a good stir, make sure it's all incorporated. And then we're gonna start adding our flour one cup at a time. You wanna go one cup at a time. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't wanna get it all in there at once and then just end up with a giant mess of paper mache that smells like beer. That's disgusting. So let's do it, one cup at a time. Here we go.
our dough is done. We're gonna take it out of that bowl, we're gonna knead it up a little bit until it's nice and smooth, and then we're gonna throw it into another bowl that's coated in oil. You're gonna roll that ball of dough around in the oil until it's nice and coated, cover it with a damp towel, and let it sit for about an hour, or until it doubles in size. Then it's ready to go, then we're gonna cut that in half, and we're gonna put it in our tins, we're gonna egg wash it, and we're gonna bake it. It's that simple, the hard part is over. Now it's just the waiting time. to proof. We got an hour. That's more than enough time for you to like, subscribe, and share to these videos. And don't forget, next week we're doing our draw for the knives. So comment down below and next week we'll be doing the draw. Someone's getting some knives. So now that our dough is proofed, you're going to take that dough, you're going to punch it down, uh, picture someone's face that you really like, and just have at her. Uh, then we're going to divide the dough in half and stick it into two well-oiled bread tins or a pizza tray or you can make your balls for your buns, put them on a baking tray. And then you're going to give that a nice little egg wash, get the whole loaf nice and covered. At this point you can sprinkle rosemary, maybe some rock salt, some sesame seeds, whatever you want, it's your bread. You're going to let the bread sit in the pan for about 20 more minutes until it rises just a bit more just to bring it to room temperature and then you're going to drop it in your oven at 350 you didn't forget to preheat the oven i hope there's always one anyway 30 minutes 350 degrees keep an eye on it once it's nice and golden brown it'll rise bring that out and then it's good to go let your bread sit once out of the oven uh, for about 10 minutes so you can take it out of the bread tin and do your thing with it and at that point your bread is all done so how to do it go go eat bread Our dough is proofing, the oven's heated. Now we're gonna make our egg wash. For your egg wash, all you need is two eggs and some milk. Um, and if you're anything like me, you've probably had eggs sitting in your fridge for God knows how long. And uh, there's really no way to tell if there's bad, or is there? Perhaps it's time for the pro tip of the day. <laughs> Not sure if your egg is good? Take it, drop it in a glass of water. If it floats, she's a bad egg. You wanna get rid of that one. And if it sinks, you got yourself a good egg. Keep that one, use it in whatever you want. And that's it. So, what makes a bad egg float? Basically, when the egg starts to go bad, it produces a gas inside the shell, and that gas makes the egg buoyant, so it stays afloat in water. So even though your egg may have a best before date stamped on it that's way past due, drop it in a cup of water, and if it floats, then toss it. If it sinks, it's still good to go. So don't throw your eggs out right away. And that's your pro tip of the day.
need to talk. So, first thing, we're going to talk about the oven. I know the recipe says 350 degrees for 30 minutes, but not all ovens are built the same. It's a fact. The oven behind me is a dead air oven. The air doesn't move around, it's just one of those ones that gets hot, you put the food in, and it comes out. I know some people have a convection oven, which is the one that's got the fan in the back, it blows the air around, it cooks much faster and a lot more evenly. Uh, so keep an eye on your bread. Just watch it. Uh, don't sit in front of the oven all day, but uh, keep an eye. If you don't know, poke it with a toothpick. If it comes out clean, it's good to go. If it's still a little bit doughy, throw it back in for another five, 10 minutes and try again. Uh, yeah. And if it's your first time making bread and it didn't turn out, don't worry, try it again. Practice is the only way you're gonna get it. And at that point, your bread is all done. So how to do it? Go, go eat bread. Send me some pictures, comment. Uh, do you have a different recipe for bread you want to share? Hit me up on Instagram and let me know. We'll try it out next video. All right, guys, enjoy your bread. Take care. So, who's my favorite actor? Bread Pitt. One of my favorite singers ever, Toast Malone.